so uh, lots of you know me. Some of you may be seeing me for the first time. Um, in 2007, uh, I started volunteering with Jeff Sawyer in what was the kids' zone then. Um, uh, that went pretty well. So in 2009, I moved to part-time on staff. I'm sorry, in 2013, I moved to part-time on staff. And then a year later, in 2014, I joined the staff full-time. Um, it has been an amazing ride. It's something that I deeply, deeply love. Um, I have memories from the last 16 years of working with the kids at this church that are filled with uh, joy and love and laughter and more than a few stinky vans, um, which is why this morning is exciting and sad because I'm here to announce that it's time for someone else to pick up where I'm leaving off. Um, after lots of prayer and, and lots of discussion and more than a few really, really clear God moments, I've decided to go back to fifth grade teaching in the classroom, which is what I was doing before I came here. Um, I'm really excited about that but I'm also excited about the future of children's discipleship here. It is a perfect chance to get someone in here who's passionate about the same things that Dale talked about this morning. It's a chance for someone else to pour into the next generation of amazing kids. And I can't wait to see what that looks like. Um, it's also a chance for me to tell you that Man, I appreciate the, the love and prayer and support and help that you guys have given me. Um, it couldn't have happened without you. And I thank you more than you'll ever know. Thanks. So Travis and I were sitting down Thursday and we were doing some strategic planning for the future, and and pretty much Travis said, Dale, I think you want to hear this before we start talking about that." And um, and I was when he shared with me, um, I was taken back just to be blunt, and he knew I would be. And Travis can be anxious at times, and um, he was as peaceful as I've seen him as he shared this um, news with me. And um, it really confirmed to me that God's at work in Travis's life. 100%. And God's opened this door. And so actually, y'all might find being from the secular world, this a little strange. Um, but Travis shared with me that I have an interview tomorrow. So he wasn't tell, sharing with me that he's leaving. He said, Dale, I have an interview tomorrow. And this is what God's stirring my heart about. And this is what I believe he wants for me. And I believe this is going to be a blessing for me and for CFCC. And uh, he interviewed. 30 minutes after the interview, he was offered the job. So that's how. So things have turned on a dime since Thursday morning. And actually Thursday afternoon. And... Um, I know you've prayed for Quest Kids over and over and over again over the years, and I am confident that you're going to be praying for Travis and Rachel and the family, um, strategically praying for them over the next days and weeks and months as they're going through transition. And I pray that once again, that Quest Kids would rise up to the top in your prayers as we will be going through transition. Um, we know God's at work and we know he's in control. And so, um, I'm selfish. Um, I don't go to quest kids on Sunday morning. My, my granddaughter has grown past quest kids on Sunday morning. I'm going to miss Travis in the office. Uh, we have a unique relationship, our staff, we have fun and every one of us is extremely different than the other. And, um, and so Travis, you already know, I've already told you, 
um, we're going to miss you. Um, let's have a word of prayer. And uh, then I pray that we might go out as God's ambassadors to a world in great need. Father, we, we thank you for Travis. We thank you for Rachel, uh, for Ophelia, for Sloan, for Xander. We pray your blessing on them. Uh, we pray your nearness to them over the next hours and days and weeks and months. And Father, we just we thank you for moving. Father, we just spoke about you speaking to our hearts and you nudging us and your spirit speaking. And Father, I believe you've done just that. And the confidence that Travis exudes, the um, excitement that he has both about his future and our future, Father, just um, speaks of you. Father, I just pray that we might hear you and trust you and walk with you just as Travis is doing. And Father, I pray that we might be your ambassadors in a world in great need. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Um, Have a good week.